All right, so <clears throat> today I'm doing a review of uh, Murph AI. It is a voiceover, um, AI voiceover protocol. So for anyone that uh, makes, uh, say, training videos or explainer videos, or you want to add audio to your blog posts or things like that, this is a great tool as you will be able to um, record voiceovers for your scripts that you get written. Um, I've already logged into my accounts. I'm at the main interface. I'm doing a new project. Um, but before we get into that, let's just um, first of all get into the pricing of this software. I know that's the most important thing to a lot of people, especially uh, you budget conscious uh, shoppers out there. So let's look at that real quick. So they do have a free package. And as you can see, you they have 120 different um, AI voices. So for the free plan, you can try out all 120 voices. It only gives you 10 minutes of voice generation, though. Um, so I guess if you want to give it a test test drive or test run, I mean, 10 minutes is more than enough, and 120 voices is more than enough to see whether, whether or not you want to actually subscribe to the software. After that, you have the basic and that as you can see is $19 a month. You get unlimited downloads. You have two hours of voice generation. Um, then if, you, if you're gonna use something like this a lot, I would say the most uh, cost appropriate or the one that makes more sense for you, if you do a lot of voiceovers for your projects is probably the pro which is $39 a month. And with the Pro, again, you get unlimited downloads. You have eight hours of voice um, generation, four hours of transcription month, and obviously you get access to 120 voices, commercial usage rights. And here's something else that you also get. You get voice changer. So if you don't like the sound of your own voice, you can actually record your own voice uploaded to Murph AI, and this voice changer option will actually change your voice for you. And after that, and again, before I move on, you can have up to three users on the pro plan. And I don't think any of you are probably going to need enterprise, you know, $249 a month, five users. I mean, if you're running a pretty large group of people and they're using this program, then, you know, that's when you would need it. But again, like I said, the vast, vast majority of people will just be fine with Pro. Nope, no need for enterprise. Now, this is, these are all just monthly plans. Like I said, um, if you want to save a bit more money, you can use, go to yearly. And you can see quite a bit of savings there if you switch to yearly. But I would say you give the you know give the monthly plan a try. You can always switch over to yearly if you feel feel like uh you're gonna be using it more. Now let's go back to my account. Like I said I'm already logged in. I'm on the pro plan so as you can see I have seven hours 57 minutes left. Um, I've used three hours. I mean, three minutes <clears throat> of voice time so far. Uh, up here, you have a set of different options. Soundtrack. You can upload your own soundtrack. Gallery. Import audio. AI changer. Like I said before, if you wanted to change your own voice to an AI voice, you can use that here. Um, settings, 
script. And with the script, what, what you can do is you can upload your own script, which I did in this case. I uploaded um, a script, which is already here. So you would just go here to upload your script. And you would just browse from your computer and find it that way. So I already have my script here. And it's in here. Once it's uploaded, I already picked an AI voice. So I just want to play this first line right here to give you an idea of what it sounds like. So. And there you go. That's what that one sounds like. Let's try another line. All right. So if you want to go through all the voices that are available, just click on this option here. And these are all the different um, voices that are available to you. So as you can see, they have it um, delineated by different voices. <clears throat> they have different regional accents. They have male and female. They also have it by age group. So the one I'm using now is called Robert M. And that's a middle-aged man, as you can see. You have Nate here, which is a young adult. Um, let's see what Nate sounds like. That's, uh... Okay, went back to Robert M. So let's... Um... All right, so Nate, let's see what Nate sounds like. So let's generate a voice. And you see it takes very quick, does it very quickly generating the voice. Okay. Let's try another voice. Let's try Samantha. Female. Yeah, I don't. Okay, finally. All right. Let's try one more. All right, like I said, they also have different languages that you can use. So these are just a list of different languages that are available. Let's try English UK, see what we have. All right, let's go with Toby. All right, so there you go. And those are the different voices. Um, that you um, you have. Um, if there's a word or a phrase 
that you felt that the uh, the software didn't do a good job on as in pronunciating. Here's an option up here, pronunciation, and on the lines there, you know, for the, uh, let me just go back here so you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm on this line of the script, and if there is a line that I felt wasn't, if there's a word in the line, that I felt wasn't properly pronunciated. I'll just go to pronunciation. And let's say dividend. And you can spell out the word in such a way that you feel it should be um, it should be pronounced. And the software will pick up on that, and it will go ahead and pronounce it the way that uh, you feel it should be pronounced. You can add emphasis on certain words using this. So. You can use this line if you felt if you feel that the word should be emphasized at a higher caliber or pitch or lowered. You can just use this line to add emphasis on certain words. And if you want to add a pause, that's pretty much self-explanatory. If you want to speed it up, there you go. If you want to increase the volume, that can be done as well. Okay, so as you can see, there's quite a lot that you can do um, with this AI software, this voice, um, AI voiceover software. And not only will it generate the AI voiceover for you, but there's also a section here for videos and images. Okay, so like I said, a lot of you may be using the software to do um, explainer videos or training videos or what have you. And so this is something that would be um, probably very useful to you. The ability to upload images, the ability to upload videos or import videos. Um, this is not a feature that I require or that I need. So I haven't delved or uh, looked into it with any um, degree of scrutiny. So that's someplace, you probably have to go somewhere, someplace else to get that. I have no idea re really how to, to go about doing that. Um, because I've just I've just never used it. I've just never needed it. Um, but like I said, if that's something that you need, it's something that's available for you with the Murph AI, um, the Murph AI uh, software. Um, once you're done with your script, uh, you build the audio. Um, it'll take maybe five or so minutes to generate the complete audio file, and you can always export that or share it with uh, wherever you need to. So there it is, um, Murph AI, not a bad piece of kit. Try it out. Like I said, you can get it for free just to test it out.
and then the monthly plans are pretty affordable. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.